Hello, this is a nosy production for your good entertainment and pizzas. Uh, anyways, today I am going to be telling you a bunch of su uh, suggestions for Left 4 Dead 3, which uh, I think would be pretty cool. Um, anyways, so um, this is the first one. Uncommon Infected, as in the hazmat suit guys, like the CETA guys and everything, that was a pretty good idea. I mean, uh, you gotta admit, it's kind of interesting to kill something other than like a normal zombie. So, uh, my suggestion was make a zombie with guns, which is kind of messed, but it would have two or three bullets. And so, why? This would make gameplay more intense because if, um, and they wouldn't shoot till you see, till they saw you for sure, because that would be unfair um, if they just started shooting randomly. But um, it makes gameplay more intense because. Say, if a survivor isn't paying attention, just like, uh, and walking, uh, they would let a zombie with a possible, if a, if a zombie with a shotgun could maul them down really easily. And also, um, if the, you could pick up these weapons, so these guys wouldn't be every single place, but, uh, you could pick up their weapons. They're kind of like survivors from the passing, but they wouldn't like run away like little ducklings and okay, I don't even anyways, yeah. So um what would happen is you could pick up their ammunition in case you were out and this uh the ammunition um you get like ten or twenty bullets because they wouldn't be know how to reload because they're zombies. That'd be kinda cool. Uh so anyways, um so uh for the survivors the suggestion was to make two or three two males and two females and then I was thinking because Ellis is talking about all these stories about Keith and then this one story about Dave or whatever I was thinking of making the males Keith and Dave and also I was thinking you could start off with five survivors but then there would be like a cutscene where like a smoker gets the survivor or something or like a tank comes and throws a rock and um, you, like everybody gets in but then the last second, the fifth survivor dies. It'd be kind of interesting. It'd be really interesting. Or maybe there could be DLC for Left 4 Dead 3 with um, five survivors. That'd be kind of interesting. Uh, anyways, so um, why, why would I have five survivors? Well, this would be a whole new experience for survivors, like in general. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, tanks. Um, this one's a big one. Make it so at one point of the game, this is kind of like, um, this is an Easter egg. This would be funny as hell. Um, make it at one point of the game that the tanks are fighting each other in like a gym or something. That would be so hilarious. And then, after, they would, and then, um, there would be two of them. And so then the second they see you or see your light or something, you would hear the tank theme, but like a different kind, and it wouldn't be the tank ch theme chasing you. And then, so then, the second they see your lights or something, they'll chase after you, and they'll both be at half HP. Um, they'll both be at half HP, but, um, what would happen is, uh, like, two tanks are still deadly. And then, um, why people would laugh their asses off as so hard that they would get killed by both the tanks because they aren't shooting enough. It'd just be funny. And so I was thinking of having a final boss of some kind for Left 4 Dead 3, if there is going to be one. And um, I was thinking of a mutated tanks. tank. It'd be a tank, kind of like a double tank. It would have four arms or like multi like more arms than usual or something like crazy. And it and it can throw two rocks at once, and that'd be cool. And then, um, so why this would be the cra crazy way to have fun while killing an uh, ultimate tank, and also it'd have like special abilities like double HP, and also it'd be cool 
Um, if every like uh, say one minute, you could actually call a horde, like a like a miniature horde, like the ones that clowns have, to come after you. That'd be kind of interesting. Anyways, uh, specials were awesome. Uh, especially the new ones like Charger, those are a challenge, they fill in the gaps. But the only real special that they haven't made that hasn't filled in the gap, um, well, the car Charger kind of does this, but not really in a sense. Uh, make a special called the Wizard. Uh, I was thinking about this for a while, but I figured out what special ability it is. First of all, I thought it would combust into fire and like um, attack you. But that wouldn't work, because it would be kind of unfair if both, uh, if, uh, people were to, um, actually, like, use it. So what would happen is the special ability is freeze survivors for four seconds, or five seconds, and then the only thing that the survivors could do while frozen would be is to melee or use a melee weapon. So this would kind of make melee weapons a little more popular. Like at least one person in the group would have a melee weapon. Uh, yeah. So that would be kind of interesting. And so, but you have to use your attack wisely because it only gets like a little, um, you have to, because it only gets a little thing. And you can only use it once because the second you do that, um, you actually, again, you combust. But um, you don't combust normally. You, um, just, like, you are on fire and you don't, like, leave fire on the ground. And why? Face it, specials are challenging and, and this is, like, the only gap that hasn't been filled in yet. The charger kind of fills it in because it can hit you and stun you for about, like, three seconds. But, then again, it'd be kind of cool. Uh, campaigns. Make a campaign where you must run from a hurricane or tornado or, like, a huge wave, like a tsunami or something. Um, why, uh, action increases and one special can make the huge difference between life and death. Also, um, the level would vary. So if you're an expert, you would literally have, like, if you got hit by a charger or something, you would have, like, 10 seconds to get out of there before you got killed by the tornado or something. So then, um, so then, uh, the, uh, so then on easy, you would probably have, like, 30 seconds or something. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, interact with people would be cool. And it is cool because uh, White Taker, or whatever his name is, uh, yeah, you um, you uh, give him his cola. So how about, um, it was pretty cool. So how about make like a family that has to get supplies at a grocery store across the street. And they have their own weapons so they can protect themselves. But um, also you would have to defend them a little bit because they're kind of like noobs and that'd be kind of sick if there's a child in there and uh, anyways why it'd be interesting to see who the specials would be aiming at and if the family dies um like uh so then uh it'd be kind of interesting if one of the family member dies then uh the family turns into zombies so there's two possible paths and um also uh would be interesting is if there was multiple paths in the game, like if, for example, like say there's two interactions, and if the family dies, you turn into zombies, and you go in a different path. You don't go, you go through the grocery store, but if you go back to the house, you have like a little more of an advantage. And then there could be another one where if um you have to protect the seed a guy or something, and um so he, if you don't protect him, then like the bridge doesn't blow up. You go across the bridge. But the bridge happens to be the long way, or something like that. Uh, anyways, I had a few more ideas, but um, before the video gets a little too long, I just want to end it here. So this has been a nosy production. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, maybe enjoy my other Left 4 Dead videos. I'm going to be coming with a walkthrough soon. And um, also, the songs that were played was Meant to Live by Switchfoot, Search and Destroy by Emmanuel, and Awake by Seventh Day Slumber. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed again. These are a few suggestions, and that'd be kind of cool. Anyways, uh, I'll be seeing you guys later. Uh, Left 4 Dead walkthrough is planned to be released on July the 1st, or er, July the 7th, and um, a bunch of glitches on July the 1st. Anyways, again, bye. I hope you enjoyed.